From 3D-like product presentations to explosions and character animations, Sprite Sheets can help you create awesome animations in no time. Today, I will show you how to use the cool new Sprite Sheet feature in Hype version 4 to do that. Let's go. If you remember old computer games like Prince of Persia, you might already be familiar with Sprite Sheets even if you don't know it. The character animations within the game were drawn as single images. Displaying these images in a frame-by-frame -frame manner created the illusion of animations between the poses. It's funny how our brain works, right? Well, we can still use this trick, for example, to create character animations. Here's an example. Such a walk cycle is a pretty complex animation, so it might be easier to actually draw the different poses in an illustration tool and then import it as a sprite sheet. Also, there are libraries out there like GameArt2D that offer free sprites. Now let's take a look at how we can use sprite sheets in Hype. You can import sprite sheets through the elements menu. Note that you can use single images, complete sprite sheets, and even GIF files here. The Sprite Sheet dialog allows you to adjust the settings as required. For example, set the rows and columns, adjust margins and spacings, set the frame rate, you get the idea. You just have to make sure that each pose sits right in one frame to avoid glitches. The animation then appears like a symbol on our timeline. You can resize the sprite sheet and animate the entire container if you want to. You can also use sprite sheet actions to control the playback of the sprite sheet. In case you need to adjust the sprite sheet settings as such, for instance to change the frame rate at a later point in time, you can access the sprite sheet settings again through the elements property inspector. Let's check real quick the result in the browser. Perfect! As you can see, using sprite sheet animations is super easy and opens up new possibilities. You can even use 3D models to create awesome product presentations. If you want to create your own sprite sheets, make sure to use the same size for each image. In Illustrator, for example, it is best to export using artboard settings to make sure of that. You can also create a single file sprite, like this one in Photoshop. Here it can be helpful to add a tiny pixel in the bottom left corner as the exported PNG starts at the first visible pixel. So this way we make sure that each frame has exactly the same measures. This way we can make sure that each post uses the same frame size and you can download the project's files on richcontentdesign.com including the assets I have just showed you to get the idea. I hope you enjoyed this little tutorial, have fun experimenting with the different sprites, sometimes even a few frames can already create an amazing effect, so you definitely should try it out. Also make sure to check out the other videos and samples and free stuff on richcontentdesign.com. As always, feel free to leave questions and feedback in the comment section below the video. Happy animating!